Greetings all. I hope you're all surviving the COVID pandemic out there. Uh, the things in your area are looking fairly good. That's wishful thinking, I guess. Uh, you know, you probably heard that expression. Boy, I hate it when I'm right. But it looks like your favorite gardener is probably the first one on planet Earth that made a record of this virus having the potential for mind control. Uh, it's coming out now. There's some science behind what I've been saying. Uh, again, I'm not a genius. I just happened to, you know, spend my life living in a natural environment, watching what happens in a natural environment closely, observing insects and so on, and that uh, uh, mind control in nature is really a very common thing. Uh, people don't tend to think about it very much, but we are also susceptible. And, uh, well, here it is. Uh, first off, the CDC has added uh, a couple new items to the list as far as symptoms uh, with uh, COVID. They are confusion, fogginess, loss of the ability to speak, and uh, the ability to think clearly. Okay, <laughs> um, That's pretty conclusive that COVID can have an effect on your brain. Uh, but that's mild compared to this one. Now there haven't been too many people out there um, that have supported my idea that this virus is affecting people's thinking. All right. I've gotten a lot of flack over this, and well, I don't care. I mean, so if I lose my cred, right, uh, as a guy who can diagnose pandemics, oh boy. Uh, but I haven't had a lot of support. My, my sons don't believe me. Uh, they think I'm wacky. My brother is one of the few people that I'm related to who actually is the one who found this article and sent it to me. What we have here is <clears throat> Science News, July 7, 2020. Reuters, scientists warn of potential wave of COVID-linked brain damage. I didn't make that up, folks. And it isn't fake news, okay? Um, it says here, London, Reuters. Scientists warned on Wednesday of a potential wave of coronavirus-related brain damage as a new evidence suggested COVID-19 can lead to severe neurological complications, including inflammation, psychosis, and delirium. <laughs> hmm... A study uh, by researchers at the University College London, uh, UCL, <laughs> uh, described 43 cases of patients suffering from COVID-19 who'd suffered either temporary brain dysfunction, strokes, nerve damage, or other serious brain effects. The research adds to recent studies uh, which found the disease can damage the brain. Mm -hmm. Whether we will see an epidemic on a large scale of brain damage linked to the pandemic, uh, perhaps similar to an uh, encephalitis outbreak in the 1920s and the 1930s uh, after the 1918 influenza pandemic, remains to be seen. Uh, Michael Zandi from UCL's Institute of Neurology, who co-led the study. COVID-19, the disease caused by the new coronavirus, is largely a respiratory illness that affects the lungs. But neuroscientists and specialist brain doctors say emerging evidence of its impact on the brain is concerning. My worry is that we will have millions of people with COVID-19 now. And if in a year's time we have 10 million recovered people and those people have cognitive deficits, then that's going to affect their ability to work and their ability to go about activities of daily living. 
Uh, Adrian Owen, a neuroscientist at Western University in Canada, told Reuters in an interview. Um, I will um, leave the link to this article in the text below, so you all can go in there and take a look at it. Now, I am fully aware that I have actually made the connection between a lot of the social dysfunction that's been going on and the virus that I believed a lot of this was spawned by a psychological reaction to the infection. Uh, I mean, I'm not to say that the motivations for people to want social justice, you know, to congregate and so on, these are all natural things and they're real, you know. What I'm saying uh, right all along here is that this virus has promoted people to chase after various things at this time specifically because the virus has at least one main purpose in being to spread and it does whatever it takes to survive and in this case it does appear it's been causing people to congregate to come together in uh, uh, rather unhealthy ways the, the meant to share this thing so that it's getting worse and worse and worse and it's spreading more and more and more. Uh, and so whether it causes some of the violence, you know, I mean, who knows? Nobody will know. And there has not been anybody yet other than me who has made the connection between the fact that the virus affects thinking and the riots and so on. Um, on the other hand, I think that's a pretty easy connection to make logically um, once we conclude medically that this really is happening that we actually have a certain amount of mind control going on and it, the evidence is pointing in that direction now one of my greatest concerns really in all of this I mean it might sound stupid but hey I just read it in the article and you all can read it for yourself there is concern that the damage to the brain may be permanent and long term. So that means, you know, if some of you out there may be thinking, well, you know, I'm not going to wear a mask, blah, 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 I get the virus, you know, I get the antibodies, that would be okay, I survive, I'm young, you know, not like old Bill L. Fart there, you know, he's just dropped dead as soon as he gets near him. And, well, that might be true, but you might walk away with part of your brain missing, apparently. And, I'm telling you, I answer questions on this channel for people all the time. I get all kinds of questions from people all the time. I like your questions. Send them in. Questions are great, okay? Um, comments, not always, but questions are always good. Well, what I don't want to see is in a couple of years that I'm living in a world where my viewers on the Green Garden Guys channel go, uh, Bill, uh, what's a tomato? Uh, 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 Bill wants a seed. Uh, you want? I don't want to lose your 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 mental capabilities. I mean, really, I'm being selfish. I actually want to carry on a conversation with all of you. You know, it's gonna be pretty hard when you're drooling. Uh, 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 uh. So. It's a serious concern here. This is uh, more than, you know, you know, am I going to get antibodies? Or are we going to get through the infection or not? It's more like, are we going to make it through this uh, with our mental capabilities? And is most of what you're seeing out there in the streets right now being driven by neurological dysfunction? And I'm saying it is. Although, again, I'm sticking my neck out, but I'm not a doctor, you know, or a statistician. I'm a gardener, uh, so uh, <laughs> blame me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't care. I don't have the credentials to be stating what I'm stating right now anyway. So uh, it just happens that for some reason I seem to be the only one that seems to have noticed it. <laughs> That's pretty scary. I hate it when I'm right. Aloha, folks. Be well. Wear the masks, please. <laughs>